Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk in detail about the Sacred Core from the Vampire Chronicles. Now I know different vampire franchises have different origin stories for how vampires are created in that universe and I'm going to explain each of them in time, but I thought I'd start with my favourite franchise which is obviously the Vampire Chronicles. So let's talk about the Sacred Core what it is, how it works, how it's applied to all vampires, where it comes from. But firstly, let's talk about Amel. Now, Amel is the spirit that vampirism was created from. He was once an enhanced superhuman who built and ruled over Atlantis. He had a thirst for human blood and was also known as a replamoid, one of four beings placed on Earth by an alien race. Now, after Amel's death, his spirit remained on Earth along with his bloodlust. So, the origins of vampirism from the Vampire Chronicles stems back 6,000 years ago, back to a time when there was no pyramids and Egypt was known as the Kingdom of Kemet. It was ruled over by King Enkil and Queen Akasha. Now I've explained how Akasha became a vampire in a previous video and I've even done a video on her entire life story. So if you want a detailed background that covers everything that led to those events, then you can click the cards or you can check out the end screens when this video concludes. Now many of you are already aware that Akasha is the very first vampire. That's no secret. At the moment of her death, which was at the hands of assassins, the queen's soul was exiting her body but was caught by the spirit Amel who then intertwined itself with it, forcing the soul and Amel back into Akasha's body, rapidly healing her and creating the very first vampire. Now, the spirit inhabited Akasha's brain and was therefore known as the Sacred Core, the source of what's therefore called the Dark Gift. Now, the Dark Gift is different for everyone. Some vampires can read minds, some can manipulate fire, some can retain their humanity, some can use telekinesis in addition to other various powers. Each vampire has part of the essence of the Sacred Core which all begins with Akasha. Now, to be the vessel of the core is very demanding, overwhelming and overbearing. It can render the person mindless if they don't harness the power correctly. Akasha discovered that by creating more vampires, it reduces the intensity of holding the sacred core and makes it more bearable. It was initially believed that a vampire would have to be at least a thousand years old to be able to hold the core. But when you think about it, it actually contradicts the fact that Akasha was in her 20s and no more than minutes old as a vampire when the core settled within her, which therefore rules that theory out. Akasha is connected to every single vampire in existence, kind of like a tentacle system that stretches out to everyone the sacred core touches. Should the host of the core be killed, then it is believed all vampires would die with that host but it's been shown that this doesn't happen instantly. There is time for the new host to devour the brain of the deceased in order to take the essence of Amel into themselves and become the new host of the sacred core. In the novel The Queen of the Damned, after Akasha was destroyed, the vampires felt weak and almost limbless, but they remained alive until Mikare devoured Akasha's brain. Now, when a new vampire is created, part of the essence of a male is transferred into that being, which intertwines with their soul at the point of death. The overwhelming bloodlust that vampires experience is from a male's initial bloodlust from when he was initially a spirit. Consuming blood fuels the part of the core within the individual and unlocks an even greater strength, greater speed and keeps the individual fully active in terms of their connection to Akasha. The Sacred Core has only ever had three hosts and must always have a host in order for the vampire to survive, or so it was believed. It's clear as day that Akasha was the very first host of the Sacred Core and was for over 6,000 years. She was the first Queen of the Damned and planned on being the only one. When she awoke after millennia of inactivity, Akasha's plan was to wipe out 90% of the male population and start all over again as she believed the human race had disgraced themselves. 
She was beheaded by Makaira before consuming her brain, taking the core into herself and becoming the new Queen of the Damned. However, the core left Makaira in somewhat of a mindless state, left her in a position of instability, which led her sister Maharet to rule in her place, despite not holding the core herself. Makaira then offered herself to Lestad so the sacred core could be transferred into his body, which would make him the King of the Damned. Lestat was the core's host until the Replamoids assist the vampires in removing Amel from him, creating a body for Amel and leaving the vampires being able to exist without a link to the core. This basically renders the core non-existent, as Amel was separated from the soul it was attached to. Nothing changed for the vampires except the link connecting them all together. With that being said everyone, that is my explanation on the Sacred Core. If there's another topic from the Vampire Chronicles or another topic from any vampire franchise you want me to explain, then please do so in the comments section below. I'm completely overwhelmed by the support you've all given me on this channel. It's amazing as it continues to grow, it means the world. Hit that like button because it tells YouTube you're enjoying my videos and they'll be recommended more, which makes me happy. If you want to join me on this journey, however, with Vampire Folklore, then please do so by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you all very much. I will see you all in the very next video.